Hey everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Creatures of the Deep. Today we are going to be talking about one of my fa personal favorites. This guy, Warning, is scary. So, you've been warned, but this is a real animal. This, my friends, is the Goblin Shark. This is actually what it looks like, but this is actually a photo from the game Endless Ocean. And no, this is not something from a sci-fi horror movie. This is actually a real thing. The goblin shark is a really rare species of deep sea shark and is also called a living fossil because the species it comes from has a line age of 2 of 125 million years ago, old. It's ha when it's young it ha it's white with pink and as it gets older it actually gets kind of darker and an eerie chestnut color added to it in turns kind of gray chestnut looking. When this thing dies though it actually looks red. Literally, like blood red because it's blood that was going through its body literally stops and forms all over it. So it literally looks like something out of hell. So I'm a, I'm a Matt. So many people call this guy. I don't know why, but um, this guy is um, very, very highly ridiculed, but I love him. I love that fish. The goblin shark's teeth are quite amazing. They usually are inside its mouth, but when it needs to feed, it intrudes. And I'm going to show my hand here. So it literally is like this, usually. Okay, so it takes its jaws out, and the jaws will literally go like this. And that's when it gets the form of its hood. It goes and just graffles on. They lunge out and just graffle on to whatever fish is in front of them. It's quite amazing, and if you look it up on YouTube, put in Goblin Shark Feeding, you can see this in slow motion. They were filming something on science and actually found this guy. Now, these guys were actually first discovered in 1998. Huh. Thousand years before I was born, by the California Academy of Sciences or the Scripps Aquarium. I actually have been to the Scripps Aquarium, and I gotta say it is amazing. These guys are usually the first one was found off of Japan after a monsoon. Ugh. I can imagine, I mean, you already got the monsoon, they're already scared enough, but, um, that's just, mm, mm, yeah, that's pretty scary if you're going to see if you can find some of your items and then you come across this, I'd probably run screaming in my native language as well. Well, these guys are native to very deep parts of the Atlantic Ocean, and when they are young, they actually come up to the surface to eat, which is the one on the video I was talking about is much younger. These guys are definitely scary, and I would not want to run into one of these in a dark environment. Unfortunately, that is where they live, is a dark environment. These guys actually live at the maximum of 4,300 feet down and then go to, when once older, go to the bottom floor to eat small crustaceans, fish, and mollusks. And these sharks, um, they actually, on its upper, right here, its upper, um, mat on the upper part of its mouth, it has 35 to 53 teeth, and its lower one is 31 to 62. And these got ones are constantly 
replacing themselves. And these teeth themselves are very long and jagged. So, yeah, these things literally bite down. And when it's bit into something, they pierce into it. So, yeah, these guys are not the creepiest they found yet, though. Yeah, these are... Very, we do not know, again, how they mate, but... We, or what they look like when they're babies, but the estimated size is 32 inches as a baby. Which is actually quite amazing. And not many people know this, but these actually have been in the, probably in a, if you live um, by the Atlantic Ocean like I do in like Virginia Beach and Scripps and all that, you'd probably have this little guy um, popping up every once in a while. But these guys have been found alive and they actually were taken to a special tank in certain aquariums. And yeah, so this guy was actually seen in aquariums. I would have loved to have seen him. But sadly, these guys only survive a short time just like because of the pressure they live in and the uh, depth, the pressure and depth of where they live. The shock of them coming up is pretty big. So they didn't, they don't survive long enough for us to study much of it. They usually only live for a week two days to a week it's sad but on the bright side when this thing does die they actually dry it out because this guy can actually be taxidermied and it's shown in many different things now this is probably one of the most feared sharks because of the way it looks but it's actually quite harmless to humans Its skeleton is hot, is it's actually a very fragile fish. Its skeleton is very poorly crafted, and it actually does have a skeleton. Yeah, this is one of the very few sharks that actually is a skeleton, and the muscles on it are very weakly developed. And its fins are very soft and small. So this guy is... He's... And the reason it has this very big hook, horn-like thing, that's actually its nose. Because these guys are almost blind. So these guys literally sense everything. Just like echolocation, except off the nose. So echo nosecation, I guess. But they echolocate. Just like we would. And I mean they live in the depths. So being almost blind and living in pitch black darkness. Isn't exactly. How would you say it. Um, easy. So these guys actually have a pretty hard time finding food. So when they do. They grasp onto it. And they don't let go no matter how big it is. They'll just kill it. Drop it to the ground. And eat it over time. Come back to it. Just like all other sharks, these guys have a great sense of smell. And um, they are quite amazing, if you ask me. Now these guys, if you were wondering how big they are, they are at full grown. Um, at full grown, these guys are... 13 feet long. So these guys outstretch a human. So, yeah, when they're young, they're really cool, but when they get older, yeah. So this guy is 
actually not very, we actually don't know how many of these are in the, the, um, world because, well, we haven't found so many of them. But you gotta admit, this is a creature that has survived millions of years and we've gotta have respect for it in a way. I think these are amazing creatures. If there are any creatures you'd like me to do, please leave a a comment in the below and I will try to get to it as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. This is Amy Terrell saying catch you later.